Hi everyone, Pastor Tracy here. Just have a few words to share with you today. Um, I want to take you to Proverbs chapter 4. And it says, My son, in verse 20, Pay attention to my words and be willing to learn. Open your ears to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and healing and health to all their flesh. Watch over your heart with all diligence. For from it flow the flow the springs of life. Um, the New King James um, talks about how out of it flow um, spring the issues of life. Um, and so I just want to I want to break that down a little bit. Um, but he tells us to pay attention to my words and be willing to learn. His words, the word of God, matters, and it's it's vital that we pay attention to what he says. Open our ears to his sayings. And a lot of times, you know, there are so many things going on in our nation today. There's so many things going on in the culture and the, you know, all over social media where people put all kinds of things out there. And there are a lot of things that are out there that are true. There are a lot of things out there that we, you know, you don't know. And, um, and sometimes we have a hard time, you know, discerning, well, you know, what we should do, where we should go. And a lot of it boils down to the lens in which we allow to guide. Like, what lens do we allow to be where we land with things? It's okay to take and look at and, and get information, but do we allow ourselves to land and function and live through the lens of, say, past um, or through the lens of, you know, just circumstances or the lens of things that have been said to us? Or is the lens of truth what we allow to guide us um, because he tells us to pay attention to his words take information but then spend time okay but what does god say what did what does he do because we need to allow have the lens of truth be what guides us um, he tells us to not let them escape from our sight and keep them in the center of our heart well if we don't let them escape it means that they can so if you spend time, if we spend time on things that are not the truth, then his words and his, what he's told us to do, what he says, those things can escape from us to where then we don't really know what we should do. And then that doesn't, that's not what ends up guiding us. Um, he says that his words and what he says, they're life to those who find them. So we have a role in finding those words, finding that truth. Um, and their healing and health to all their flesh. Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life, the issues of life. Um, Pastor Ray has shared from, from that scripture several times over the last while. And it's so important, you know, what, what, that we guard our heart, that we keep it ourselves in a place that we are able to respond um, and that, that it's from that lens of truth, you know, and not, we have to guard it from allowing bitterness and unforgiveness and, and things that can, can contaminate, um, cause it tells us that it, from it flow the springs of life and, and it's important of what we put in because then that's, what's going to flow out. That's what we're going to draw from. Um, I don't know, you know, we live in the County and we have a well. And the, when you have a well and you're, you're drawing from the water from that's basically coming from the ground, um, sometimes there's things that are naturally contaminate those wells. And so you have to have the water tested. You have to sometimes have certain types of, of filters and, and, and things that help make the water where, you know, you receive the full benefit of what the water is intended. So it's not contaminated. Water makes up a large part of our body, our brain, our our lungs, you know, there's a, we need water, but if the water's contaminated, then it affects its ability to provide us what we need. And, and it affects like, you know, you're going, you can have other things that become an issue in your life, in your body, if, if the water is contaminated. And so it's important that what we pour in, you know, the things we have to have some filters, you know, is this something that is going to uh, does this add to, does this bring life? Does this bring, does this help me? You know, is this going to strengthen me? Um, and, and, and we may need to stay away from it. Maybe it's certain types of relationships. Maybe it's the, it's the ear and eye things, the things we listen to and see. You know, there could be things in those areas that aren't, that are contaminating, 
you know, that, well, to where then what comes out isn't the, the life, it isn't the truth, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's affecting that. And so um, I just want to challenge you to pay attention to his word. When you hear things out here, when you read things out here, make sure you go back to truth as being the measure. What you're pouring into you needs to be from him, from the, the word of God. He magnifies his word above his name. It's very important. That's how we know about who God is, is spending time there. And we need to get that on the inside of us so and not allow those contaminants to come in that um, affect our ability to really walk in the fullness and that, that of what he's called us to do. Amen. Have an awesome day.